Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about my Android gaming PC, which is actually faster than a Snapdragon 855. I'm using a Dell Precision T1500, which is over 10 years old. It has an i5-540, no, an i3-540, and I'm just amazed at this performance, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and put a GPU in it and an SSD I bought this for like 50 bucks and so here we have it all cleaned up and as you can see we have the RX 460 4 gigabyte that was the cheapest I had 120 gigabyte SSD and 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and right here you'll see the i3-540 alright now let's create the boot drive and get this thing started so first we go to Android x86 and download so just follow my on-screen instructions right here want to download the 64 so that we can also run 64 bit apps it's gonna speed this up when this is done we want to download Rufus from Rufus.io I normally just use the portable version seeing as we can run it from a USB doesn't need to be installed and I don't normally check for updates so here you want to select your ISO and all other settings just leave as default and hit start And let's get the boot drive created. I'm just going to speed this up. That's it, our boot drive is created. Now let's safely remove it from the PC. Now let's get our computer on which we're gonna install Android on. Here I'm showing the specs you can see this computer is created in November 2010 basically that's the last bias version. Alright so now let's select our boot device and select my USB drive and now we want to install Android to the hard disk. We want to select the largest partition on your SSD. And I go I went with NTFS. That's the only way I could get it to boot. I'm gonna select yes. And yes here. And I also selected yes or no here. You can select either one. I selected yes here because just in case I want to mess around and now we're installing Android I have it sped up here just so we don't keep waiting this this uh, part is very important so this defines the space where you have to create your disk for apps so you're gonna need more than two gigabyte right there so after that let's reboot and 
you don't have to touch anything here. And here our Android PC or Android gaming PC is booting. So you're gonna set this up just like a phone initially. So you set up your Wi-Fi. copy anything this is just my gaming PC enter your Google account yes I use Outlook agree to Google's terms check all of these options so I don't share any data and I don't want any security for this PC no Google Pay this will just be a gaming PC Thank you. And now we're gonna test the two launchers that are installed. So we're gonna try quick step at first. This one looks basically like a phone. I don't really like it for my Android gaming PC. So let's see taskbar. Now this looks like a more traditional desktop, like a start bar right here. And here you can add widgets so I'm just gonna basically stick with this launcher so I'm gonna set it as my default launcher so now we're gonna install 3d mark from the Google Play Store so that we can get a good idea of the performance of our gaming Android PC and compared to other devices so I'm gonna get this set up and run the benchmark and then we'll see the results at the end
as you can see here, our score is 7,091. Graphic score 11,635. Here's some more details. And now let's compare it to the other phones. So you can see it's 100% better than Huawei P30. 100% better than Google Pixel 4. percent better than the Xiaomi Mi 9 and 100% better than the S10 so as you can see this is like real decent performance even beating out the one plus seven I am happy with this result and you know for a very for a very old PC that only cost me $50 and I threw some hardware in it I had laying around it's pretty good performance I'm gonna be testing some games in the next video so please subscribe for more and thank you for watching